Lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Oop, it looks like Mike Epps decided to call out Shannon Sharp. Before we dive deeper into this topic, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Yes, during a recent comedy show, Mike Epps decided to call out Shannon Sharp, insinuating that he might be secretly G-A-Y. He said that Shannon Sharp called him trying to do an interview with him, and he immediately answered the phone and he said, no, Medea. He also insinuated that if you put a wig on Shannon Sharp, then he would look like Medea's sister. So it's like, hold on, if you, and then you, he kinda has a point there. But I was like, let me not go on Shannon Sharp like Mike Epps is doing right now in this comedy show. He also claims that he said no because he didn't wanna sit across from Shannon and have him looking at his, let's just say, tennis balls. He continues saying that Shannon's podcast is called Club Shay Shay for a reason, suggesting that Shannon is secretly G-A-Y. Now, I would love to say that Shannon doesn't deserve this, but this is kind of what he gets for trying to shade our girl Sweetie with his recent interview with her. So if you can dish it, you can take it. But on a serious note, guys, these allegations about Shannon has been going around for a while now since he's been spotted sitting next to his stylist. Yes, every basketball game Shannon goes to, he brings his stylist. His name is Hollywood along with him. And this stylist is openly G-A-Y. And that's what started the rumors of people thinking that maybe Shannon has something secretly going on with his stylist. But people should also note and think about the fact that it's not foreign for celebrities to bring their stylists out places with them. Usually they form some type of relationship with them. In fact, many celebrities do this. I think more people are used to seeing certain stylists just go out with their female clients, but it's not foreign for them to go out with their male clients as well. Other than that, I think Mike Epps comedy show and Mike Epps in general is a hilarious comedian and it's not gonna be for him or Shannon Sharp to get all of this backlash of course because his show is blowing up and his name is all over the media now so I'm pretty sure it'll be more than just Mike Epps calling him out and like I said he did come for our girl sweetie so now he got somebody coming for him what goes around comes around child y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section Now y'all know that saying, you never know who your real friends are until you stumble across hard times. Well, what if you're not even here for those hard times? Kima, who is the late King Von's first baby mama, recently got on live to expose one of King Von's friends for seemingly flirting with her after his passing. She insinuates that she was expecting for the friend to just check on her and her well-being after the loss of King Von, but no, they hit her up to flirt with her and send her heart eyes. She she captures the video, this is a sick world, and explains how there's no loyalty, saying that she understands now why some guys make it big, make all of this money, and leave their old friends behind. Now this was really sad to hear. If you don't know anything about King Von other than the fact that he does music, you should know that King Von really cared about his friends. In fact, three years ago, King Von put out this video on his YouTube channel and it's titled Episode 1, Back to the block and he's basically taking his friends back to the block he's explaining to everybody everything that he had to go through on his blog how he was raised and everything and in this same blog guys he gifted his friends with stacks of money I don't even know how much it was but each one of his friends he gave them a stack of money and that just goes to show King Von's loyalty and how much he really cared for his friends as soon as he made a big bag he just wanted to give back to his friends so it's very disheartening to know that King King Von's friend or one of King Von's friends would cross him like this because I can almost guarantee that they wouldn't be doing this if King Von was here. So you should keep that same loyalty if you really love and care about your friend and you shouldn't do it just because he's not here anymore. So I can understand how Kima feels in this video and like a lot of people were saying in the comment section, it's messed up and that friend should really feel ashamed of himself. And that friend should be lucky that Kima didn't completely expose him and put his name out there. I was literally just looking at a video of a man basically saying that some guys are more loyal to their friends than they are to their girl. But of course, you don't just lay up and lay in the bed with your friends. But some people see it and some guys see it as they should be more loyal towards their friends. And I'm not saying anything about King Von because of course he didn't know that his friend would cross him this way. I would think that he didn't know that his friend would cross him this way. But I think this should be a prime example on why you have to watch who you call your friend. And really 
know if your friend is a real true friend or not i want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section i bet since she came out now and exposed that that friend will watch the way that he talks to her now and probably won't even hit her up ever again good for you kima kima truly is a real one as we know king von and kima were not even together they weren't even on the best of terms when he you know was off of this earth when he first got you know what y'all already know i have to get around youtube's terms and services that's why i'm talking the way that i am but yeah when that situation happened they were not together they were not on the best of terms but even with that she still finds the need to be loyal to her baby daddy king von and she's like i'm not messing around with any of his friends and you would think that his friend who he was hanging out with on good terms with always around would have more loyalty towards him so i think this is just some advice that guys should take or guys should really look at this situation and really realize who your true friends are really reevaluate your friends because i know guys go loyal for their guy friends and females us too i know we go hard for our female friends as well but sometimes you really gotta put your friend to the test to see if they're a real friend even if you're here even if you're not they should still be loyal to you i don't care when nobody say oh they not even here anymore it don't matter they happy they not thinking about this they don't even have thoughts while they're not here anymore like they not thinking about that i understand that but still if your friend was here and you wouldn't be doing it you shouldn't be doing it while they're gone that's just how i see it y'all let me know what y'all think would you mind if your baby mama decided to start talking to your friend when you're not here anymore or do you just feel like you wouldn't even be worried about it it's out of your hands because you're not even here anymore like i said i want to know what y'all think in the comment section like i said i just see it as wrong okay i think kima really did the right thing and kudos to her for not even exposing his name because she better than me i would have been like this is who it is because i'm not feeling you how could you be this loyal to your friend who ended up in a tragic situation let's just say that like i say, y'all let me know what y'all think what advice do you have in the comment section it looks like Tia Kim's number got leaked. Now, how it got leaked, we don't know. It might be her baby daddy, Rick Ross, getting tired of her, getting on live and exposing him. So he decided to leak her number. But yes, her number got leaked and she decided to hop on live and talk about it. And she was completely getting mad and yelling at all of the people who are sending her cash app requests and who keep on texting her back to back. She let it be known, look, I've had that number for 26 years. So she is not changing her number even though her number is leaked she said that she's just going to keep on blocking numbers and blocking these cash app requests that she is getting but she's better than me i definitely would block them numbers now tia kemp is completely hilarious child tell me why i ran across this old video that i will have posted onto my instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end because of copyright reasons i can't post it here but y'all this was 15 years ago tia kemp was on 50 cents show and once again she was exposing rick ross so like i said this ain't nothing new tia kemp been doing this and even though her and rick ross have been on and off in a relationship every time they are off she's always going to exposing him and saying something messed up about rick ross even though we all do get a big laugh out of tia kemp and she is hilarious she's definitely a character i really think something that we should note from tia kemp is not to really let anybody play with you like like I said, her and Rick Ross have been on and off for years and I don't know what she probably thought was going to come out of her relationship being on and off with Rick Ross. Maybe she thought that at the end of it, they would get married or be together or maybe she just never cared for a serious relationship. But it honestly does seem like she let Rick Ross play with her for years because 15 years ago, this video was put out. 15 years ago, she was going back and forth with Rick Ross just like she is now 15 years later. Mm. This should be a prime example to not let anybody, any guy play with you for years, okay? Because in all honesty, if they were really that back and forth and things really got that bad to where you feel like you have to expose him when you guys are off, she really should have just moved on and been in a new relationship by now instead of being in her, what, late 40s, still going back and forth with her baby daddy? Mm, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Now, our last topic is going to be Drake and 
and four bats at a recent show these two decided to link up and child i can already hear the music now i can already see me having their song on repeat i can already see their song hitting the hot billboard 100s okay i'm really hoping that four bats and drake decide to collaborate because y'all already know that song would be fire y'all let me know would y'all be here for a collaboration between drake and four bats like i said i know i would be y'all let me know how y'all feel about all these topics my lovely tts in the comment section once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night